Hey everyone, so on this episode of Make It With Calvin, we'll be taking you through something that I feel has kind of become a lost art in the 3D printing community, and that is the concept of troubleshooting. Now, this is the new Sidewinder X2. It prints really nice. The only problem is there's a lot of resistance in the filament system, and I'm trying to figure out if it's in the spool holder, if it's in the filament runout sensor, or both. So let me kind of take you through my process for trying to work through this in a process of elimination style and see if we can't find the problem. Okay, normally I start at the top and work my way down, but the simplest thing to figure out is the filament sensor here. So what I've done is I've just taken a random piece of filament and broken it off and I have it here in the sensor and I'll be honest this definitely feels like it has a bit more friction than a normal filament runout sensor has. So I'm assuming they're all compatible across the machine so I might see if I've got one on another machine that I can pull off and swap in its place and let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I just went ahead and pulled a sensor off of my BB Sidewinder, AKA the Genius, and already that's feeling a lot better. Now if I come down here to the original sensor, what I'm gonna suspect is there might be a little bit of flash or something on the holes. So it would actually be very easy to come by and just very carefully um, drill that out to a larger size. So I'm by no means saying that the filament runout sensor is bad or anything like that. I just think it's a case of there's a little bit of something making the hole too tiny, but for the purposes of the video, we're going to just go along with that. Should also note that I had the machine off while I was doing that. It probably wouldn't kill anything to do it with the machine on, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. So let's see if I can I don't think I can load this one handed, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I just grabbed a random spool. This is the uh, Dermatic Orange that Jimmy used for the 3D printy um, super cute pumpkin project. Highly recommend you go check that video out. It's actually really cool and I don't even celebrate Halloween. I think it's pretty epic. But back on track with this, um, it's definitely already rolling a bit nicer. Oh. Oh dear, that is wound over itself. That's an issue. Okay. Uh, so now that we've got that taken care of, there is still a bit of friction here with the spool. So I'm gonna rewind the spool, but I'm also gonna take a look at these rollers and see if there's anything that we can do to make them move a little smoother, maybe a little uh, grease or something like that. Okay, so I think I figured out the problem. To artillery's credit, this is actually a really nice ground rod, so this is very smooth. And I looked, and the inside of this is very smooth as well. But the problem is there's a little bit of um, play back and forth with this, and I'll show you up at the top. So here's the issue. This can wiggle back and forth, and as you can see, it actually spins quite nicely, just focus. Yeah, there. It'll actually spin quite nicely by itself, but the problem is the moment it starts rubbing up against an edge, it has the tendency to bind. So what I'm thinking is if I just go to the hardware store and got some thin like mylar or nylon washers, that should provide just enough gap and a smoother surface to rub on for that. So I'm gonna do that for both sides. I'm not gonna do that right away. I don't need to go to the hardware store, go out tonight, but that should help. And one other thing I think I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a little bit of grease, just a very tiny amount on the inside of this, just to make it so that the friction is as low as possible. Might seem a little bit overkill, but believe me, when it comes to a spool holder, especially one that's mounted on the top of the machine, you want as little friction as possible because you gotta remember, I'm slightly exaggerating here, but this extruder has a lot of force and theoretically it can rock the whole mechanism. Now, in normal operations, this is fine. Any up and down play is compensated for by gravity, but you have to remember this thing provides a ton of force 
and if it's causing the whole assembly to start rocking back and forth, that can be an issue for your prints, and I think that's what some people would call Z-banding, when in reality it could just be that your filament system has a bit of binding in it, which would also explain why people who throw Z-braces on don't always fix the problem, but I digress. Oh, one other thing I will say is really nice is I'm really digging these um, ribbon cable clips. Really good work there, artillery. That is a very, very nice touch. All right, so ignore the wind outside, and if the power cuts out partway through this video, it's because of that tropical storm blowing in. But in the meantime, I ran on over to Lowe's, and all they had were these quarter-inch uh, nylon washers. Not entirely what I wanted, but I think it will work. So let me just get this filament unloaded, get these installed, and we'll see how the idea works. All right, so I'm taking this a step at a time, but I will say that putting the uh, washers in there definitely has helped because it seems to be flowing, I mean, rolling a little bit better. I still think it might be wise to put a little bit of um, grease or something on the inside of there. I'm gonna do that off camera. I just wanna give this a test as it is, but I do think that if your spool holder is rubbing, it might not be a bad idea to just put um, the nylon washers in there just to provide a little bit of spacing and yeah, I'm gonna say I think this uh, was pretty conclusive. So obviously there is no ideal solution to this. I think in an ideal world, this would have bearings and yada, yada, yada. But the point is, the main thing is I wanted to teach you guys how to do things in a methodical manner, which is what I did here. So we'll leave it at that. I'll see you guys here next time on Make It With Calvin, where hopefully, you know, I think I got some projects lined up for this. So we'll see. All right, see you guys later.